Hi, my name is Bertrand Dirk, and today we'll be discussing about what trigeminal neuralgia is. So, have you been diagnosed or may think you suffer from trigeminal neuralgia? Well, today we'll be going into greater detail so that you have a clear understanding of what trigeminal neuralgia is, as well as understanding the possible cause of why you are suffering from this, and also the potential treatment options available to help trigeminal neuralgia. So, let's talk about what trigeminal neuralgia is. And it is a pain condition that involves the three branches of the trigeminal nerve. Now, the trigeminal nerve primarily carries sensory information between the face and the scalp and the brain. Sufferers often describe a shock-like pain or a stabbing pain or shooting type pain on typically one side of their face. Now the pain can last anywhere between half a second, a split second with severe pain or can last for a few minutes. Now these attacks can happen once per day or even up to 50 times per day. And sometimes sufferers may describe tearing or redness within their eyes on the same side as their pain. Also, trigeminal neuralgia sufferers are often hypersensitive to things such as simply brushing the teeth can be really painful, chewing foods can be painful as this can exacerbate the symptoms, light touch around the face or the, or the skin or even speaking can exacerbate the symptoms as well. Now these types of activities can often lead to an attack for these people. Women are more likely to experience trigeminal neuralgia more so than men and it is most likely to happen in people at the ages of around 50 years or older. So let's now talk about the trigeminal nerve because this is where we know where the pain is coming from and we'll talk a bit about the anatomy. Now there are three branches of the trigeminal nerve. The first one is the ophthalmic branch. Now this innervates around your eyes, the nose, and sort of the top of the forehead and into the scalp. Now the maxilla, maxillary branch innervates the area from your temple and downwards to your cheek and to the upper lip. Whereas the mandibular branch innervates the remainder of the temple and down into the actual jaw but it is also associated with the muscles involved with chewing as well. Now, there are three types of trigeminal neuralgia which we can go into. The first one is classical trigeminal neuralgia. Now, this is when the only cause of trigeminal neuralgia is due to a neurovascular compression. And this often happens due to a damage of a nerve, or around the nerve roots from the brainstem, or because of the compression by an artery or a vein. Further, primary pyriximal, which is a classic trigeminal neuralgia, indicates that the sufferers can have pain-free periods, whereas concomitant continuous pain suggests that the sufferers experience mild pain between attacks as well. So they can have the big spikes, but then they can have mild pain in between as well. So let's now talk about the second type. And the second type is called secondary trigeminal neuralgia. And this is when an underlying disease causes trigeminal neuralgia. And it is classified as a secondary trigeminal neuralgia. And this might be from multiple sclerosis, tumor, or arteriovenous malformation. Let's now talk about the third one. And the third one is called idiopathic trigeminal neuralgia. Idiopathic trigeminal neuralgia is when a sufferer experiences the symptoms of trigeminal neuralgia, but there is no apparent cause found on investigation. And this can then likely suggest pathology or sensitivity of the actual brainstem to be involved. Now, as with classical trigeminal neuralgia, it can be classified as purely proximal or concomitant continuous pain. And approximately half of all trigeminal neuralgia patients experience continuous pain. 
Now, trigeminal neuralgia is commonly not diagnosed well or misdiagnosed for long periods of time due to the similarities in its symptoms from those of migraine and cluster headaches. So then, what is the cause of trigeminal neuralgia? So as mentioned above, there are quite a few different causes of trigeminal neuralgia, especially with secondary trigeminal neuralgia. However, what we see commonly in our patients who suffer from trigeminal neuralgia is a sensitized brainstem and a dysfunction in the cervical spine of the neck where it is located. Now, this sensitized brainstem perceives otherwise non-threatened stimulus such as chewing or brushing the teeth or touching the face and it reacts as if it were a threat. Now the brainstem reaction to this threat is to then cause pain along the area of the trigeminal nerve which is it is innervated. This is how sufferers of trigeminal neuralgia can experience attacks so frequently with seemingly innocuous triggers. So then, if we know the cause, and the cause can be related to the neck and the brainstem, a hypersensitive brainstem, then what can be done about it and what can be for what type of treatment can be helped? Now, many of our patients who do suffer from trigeminal neuralgia have tried many different types of therapies, including strong painkillers, anticonvulsant medications, injection therapy, or even surgical intervention. Now, these may have led to some short-term relief or mild benefits, but the pain usually always return. So, what I would strongly recommend is that if you have not seen a headache clinician to assess the neck and to assess your brainstem to see whether or not the brainstem is causing the trigeminal um, neuralgia, then I would say that this is a first point of attack. To be assessed by a headache clinician to assess whether or not the brainstem is hypersensitive and whether the trigeminal cervical nucleus, which is found in the, the brainstem, to be actually causing all your pain. Now, if it is deemed apparent that yes, the brainstem is the cause, then treatment can actually begin immediately and it is actually very effective. So treatments such as desensitizing the brainstem by treating the upper three vertebrae of the neck and the disc can be proven to effectively reduce, if not stop, trigeminal neuralgia. So I would strongly urge that you do seek a headache clinician to assess whether that is the case or not and to see whether that can assist with this horrendous pain. So, my name is Bertrand Dirk and hopefully you have found value in this video to not only understand what is trigeminal neuralgia but also what the cause is and also the treatment options available. So, I hope you have found value in this video and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you.